Hi and welcome to HUDKing.com, your source for real virtual tours of HUD homes in and around the San Antonio and Houston area. I've been specializing in HUD homes since 1996 and in 2012 I started filming real virtual tours like the one you're about to watch. So connect with me by clicking on one of our social media links or if you're watching this video on YouTube, click the subscribe button to be instantly notified of new uploaded videos. Now on to the home. We are here in Kingwood, Texas. Kingwood is located on the northeast side of Houston. We are in the Sand Creek Village neighborhood. We're standing in front of 2607 Rustic Woods. That's 2607 Rustic Woods, a very nice four bedroom, three and a half bath, two story home. Has a detached two car garage. The home is approximately 3,279 square feet. It was built in 1984 and it sits on about an 11,000 square foot lot, so it's a pretty big lot. This is a, a little bit of an older established neighborhood, but really pretty. Kingwood is so nice. And this home is also eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. So you can have a very low down payment on this home. Actually, move into it for almost no money out of your pocket with HUD's 3% buyer contribution to their closing costs. So the exterior of this home is mostly brick. There is some hardy plank and it looks like some masonite siding. A little bit of wood trim as well. Uh, it does have an in-ground pool, which is nice. You have plenty of parking. You actually have a little nook here to get inside the home from the side. If you were to bring your groceries in, it takes you right into the kitchen area. We'll show you that from the inside. Lots of tall trees. Could have some beautiful landscaping if you were to take care of it. And I really like the entry here of the home. It has this kind of angled entrance there. It does have the original windows that are very decorative. So it would be kind of a shame to see those go, but it's always nice to have new efficient windows. It's a nice home. Let's take a look at the backyard and then we'll look at the inside. Well, there are a number of ways to get out to the backyard. We're going to step into the backyard off of your family room. And as you can see, it has a really nice in-ground pool. I'm, it is covered, but you can see they took attention to redoing the surface here, which is nice. It also has this detached two-car garage, and in addition to that, you have this little space here. So we'll step into here. So it's almost like a little cabana room, if you will, because you have these French doors that take you right out to the pool. You also have access into the garage, so it's gonna be a little bit dark in here. Hopefully the camera will adjust. I'm not sure if it will, but let's see if I can get this door to raise a tiny bit. It is locked, so I'm not sure, but Anyway, standard two-car garage. It's been finished out. A really nice garage space. Right around the corner here, you have a pretty good size. It's about a four by eight storage space there, plus all of this additional storage. So you do have access into getting inside of the laundry room from out here as well, through that door. And then exterior-wise, a little bit of the siding needs pressure washing, maybe even replacing a few small parts that are damaged. You can see that top section up there, masonite is damaged. So let's take a tour of the inside. Well, as we step into the home, we are in this little entryway. Now, because of the way the front door is situated, you have a pretty interesting and unique layout of the home. We step in, it has this high ceiling with a beautiful chandelier, this rounded staircase that takes you upstairs. You have a little storage closet right here to the right of the front door. To the left of the front door, we have your little guest half bath, which is a single vanity and a commode. Pretty basic. To the left of the front door, you also have a formal uh, living room, beautiful crown molding up top. So you have a formal living room. You also have a formal dining, but I'll show you that from the kitchen because that's more normally where the formal dining is accessed through. So you have this winding staircase that takes you up to the bedrooms. I'll show you that in a second. Continuing in, we have your family room with a fireplace and lots of windows. Now the, the flooring is actually a wood floor that I think you could probably salvage as long as you like the color. The rest of the home really needs painting. To the right, we have a nice wet bar, which was pretty common to homes built in the area. And we're continuing down the hallway. We have another additional little storage closet here, and you'll see it has an interesting angle because of the way the home is laid out. And then downstairs, we have bedroom number one for your master bedroom and your master bath. That's one of the perks about this home is it does have this master bedroom here with crown molding and a ceramic tile floor, lots of windows, and these are those Lead, leaded windows that I tell you that are all natural or original. We come over to the master bath. 
before we go into the master bath, right behind the door here, you have a little linen closet, but here's the master bath, which has dual vanities. You have one master walk-in closet on this end. You have your shower. And then as you'll notice, the tub is missing. So you will need to install a bathtub if you want to have a bath. We continue over your water closet here, pretty basic water closet. And then a secondary master walk-in closet that's kind of angular, which is interesting. And then you do have a lot of built-in shelves, which is kind of nice. I would suggest probably updating that vanity here, that dual vanity. It's very large, but kind of dated. So that is the master bedroom on the first floor. Now continuing through your family room, that's the door we went out to see the backyard, we come over to your kitchen and your breakfast area combo. So you have your, your main casual dining will probably take place here, put a little table here with all of these natural, all these windows and all the natural lighting coming in. You have a lot of countertop space, a lot of cabinet space. It does have a granite countertop, as you can see. A nice island, vent, and then we come over to your formal dining. Now this is the door that you can get access to your kitchen from outside and then we have your indoor laundry room, your washer and dryer connections are here inside and then that door takes you out to the garage. So your formal dining that does also connect with your formal living. So I'll give you another tour of the kitchen, your breakfast area here, family room and then we'll take a look upstairs. Now they do have wood on the st stairs, surrounded staircase taking you up to the second floor. That is a pretty ornate chandelier. Now when we get upstairs, directly to the left here of the staircase, we have bedroom number two. And bedroom number two, if we take a look here, it looks like somebody stepped through the ceiling right here by that attic stair. So there's needs to be, that needs to be repaired. This closet does have Nice built-in shelving. Now this bedroom does have access into bathroom number two. So let me try not to get in the shot here, but this is a shower and tub combo, single vanity, some built-in shelving, and that's off of bedroom number two. We also have access into bedroom number three. So it has kind of that Jack and Jill setup. Bedroom number three does have access into that shared bathroom, which is nice. And you'll see we are at the opposite end of the staircase. And then we have this large second upstairs family room with a fireplace. It's so nice to have a fireplace downstairs and upstairs. We come over and we have bedroom number four, which is located above the master bedroom. So put the quiet kid up here. And then this bedroom actually has access into its own bathroom. Shower and tub combo, single vanity. That's also shared with the upstairs living room. So that's it. Beautiful home. Kingwood is such a nice area. Very family oriented, quiet just northeast of the city. This home is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. Let me give you a summary. Well, there you have it, 2607 Rustic Woods. That's 2607 Rustic Woods up in Kingwood, Texas. A beautiful big four bedroom, three and a half bath home. It is eligible for HUD's $100 down payment incentive. Listed right now for only $290,000. So if you're interested in this home or you have any questions, please call me at 210-706-0616. My name is Jonathan. I am the HUD King, and I want to help you find your castle.